Want her to constantly think about you? Here's why you're getting it all wrong. You're trying too hard, texting too much, and ending up looking desperate. But guess what? There's a smarter way to get her obsessed with you even when you're not around. I'll teach you that today. Welcome back, Jessica O is here. So I'm gonna give you the blueprint and I promise you, after this, she won't just think about you, she'll need you. But first, let's get one thing straight. If you're going for quick fixes, shallow tricks, etc., this ain't for you. This is for men who want to play the long game and win big, in her mind and in her heart. The first thing you need to do is to make her invest in you. Now, here's a secret that not enough men understand. If you want her to constantly think about you, she has to invest in you. Most guys think that they should be doing all the work, planning all the dates, making all the moves, you know, trying to impress her every single second. But if she's not putting anything into the relationship, guess what? She's not gonna feel as attached as you'd hope for. Think of it this way, people value what they invest in. The more energy, effort, emotion that she puts into you, the more she'll value the relationship. And that's exactly what you want. If you're always the one investing and giving, she'll take it for granted. But when she starts investing in you, that's when things change. I'll break it down a little bit more. When you ask her to contribute, whether it's planning a date, making a decision, or just putting an effort to keep things going, it does two powerful things. First, it shows her that you're worth the effort. You're not just some guy who's trying to impress her. You're a man who knows his value and expects a woman to step up as well. And second, it creates emotional involvement, okay? When she's the one investing in you, she's going to feel a deeper connection. And that's just how the human brain works. You see, when a woman invests her time and energy into you, it's no longer just about you impressing her, it's about both of you building something together. And guess what? She's not going to let that go easily. When she's actively contributing, she'll start thinking about you more because now she's emotionally invested in the outcome. She wants it to work. So how do you get her to invest? Start small. Instead of planning every single date, you wanna ask her, what's something you'd love for us to do this weekend? Or why don't you pick a spot for dinner tonight? By giving her the opportunity to take the reins occasionally, she's investing in the relationship. And here's the thing, when she puts effort into planning, she's also thinking about you while she does that. She's imagining how much fun you'll have together, how much you'll enjoy the experience, etc. And this will build anticipation, which will keep you on her mind. But it doesn't stop there. Ask for her opinions, her advice from time to time, get her to open up and share her thoughts on things that matter to you. Whether it's asking her about something work-related or getting her perspective on a personal decision, you're making her feel like she's a valuable part of your life. And when a woman feels valued, she's hooked. It's all about balance, right? You're not handing over all your power to her, but you're letting her feel like she's contributing. It's a subtle shift that creates a powerful psychological connection. And believe me, once she's emotionally invested in you, it's hard for her to walk away. Second thing you wanna do is don't always be available, right? You need to make her miss you. So let me ask you one question. What happens when something is too easy to get? You stop valuing it, right? It's exactly what happens when you're always available to her. You text her back the moment she messages you, you're there at the snap of her fingers, and you think that's showing how much you care, but in reality, you're actually killing the attraction. You see, attraction thrives on tension. It's built on mystery, on anticipation. When you're constantly available, you're giving away your power of mystery. She needs time to think about you, to wonder what you're up to. If she knows exactly where you are and that you're just waiting for a call, she'll lose the excitement. Here's what you should do instead. When she texts you, don't drop everything and respond immediately. Take your time. Don't always be the first to text her in the morning either. Let her reach out occasionally. What you're doing is creating a space for her to miss you. And believe me, when she starts missing you, she'll start thinking about you even more. By not always being available, you're making every interaction with you more meaningful. The fewer texts you send, the more valuable they become. You see, if she doesn't hear from you for a while, and then, bam, out of nowhere, you send her a well-thought-out intriguing message, she'll be hanging on to every word. And guess what? Now she's thinking about you. You're occupying her mind, filling the gaps with curiosity and desire. Remember, the goal isn't to make her anxious or unsure of your feelings. It's to shift the power dynamic so you're not the one who's always at her disposal. And you need to remember that, okay? You, you're creating value through scarcity. So focus on your own life, invest in your own goals, your hobbies, do your thing with your boys or your girls. I mean, when you're out there being the best version of yourself and not constantly chasing her, she'll start chasing you. 
you know? And that's when you've really won the game. Number three, leave a mark, make an emotional impression. So if you want her to think about you constantly, you've got to make her feel something deep. And I'm not talking about just making her laugh or have a good time on a date. I'm talking about creating emotional experiences that will leave her thinking about you long after the moment is over. You see, attraction fades when it's built on surface level stuff. Looks, charm, a good sense of humor, they'll only get you so far. What sticks? How you make her feel. If you can tap into her emotions, whether it's by making her feel safe, seen or understood, you're going to leave that lasting impression. How do you do it? It's by being thoughtful, creating moments that show her that you truly care. The kind of moments that are so unique and so personal that no one else can easily replicate them. That's what makes you unforgettable. So you want to think about like the things that matter to her, right? Maybe she's mentioned a memory from her childhood or a passion that she has, for instance, that you can tie into your time together. When you take the time to do something personal and meaningful, you're not just any guy. You're the guy who made her feel deeply. And let me tell you, emotions have a way of staying with us long after the moment has passed. I mean, it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. Sometimes it's the little things that hit the hardest. So focus on those. When you show her that you're emotionally invested and that you've actually been paying attention when she speaks, she'll start to see you in a completely different light. So it's not no longer this guy who's just surface level, wants to get into her pants, but you're legit concerned, right? The goal here is to build that emotional intimacy. When you connect with her on a deeper level, she'll think about you not just when you're around, but when she's alone as well. She'll think about how you made her feel understood, valued, special. And that's the feeling that she's going to chase. Here's a tip. Find out what's important to her emotionally. Right? Is it her career? Is it her family? Her passions? Show her that you care about what she cares about. Don't just hear her, listen to her. When she realizes that you're the guy who actually listens, you become someone she emotionally relies on. And that's powerful. You don't need to be the most charming guy in the world, but if you can make her feel deeply, she won't just think about you. She'll need to be around you. She'll associate you with those positive, powerful emotions. And that's where the real attraction lies. Number four, surprise her, but don't be predictable. So let me tell you something. Predictability is the enemy of excitement, right? If she knows exactly what you're going to do, where you're going to take her, what you're going to say, she'll lose interest somewhere along the line because there's no surprise there. So you want to stop doing the same old thing. If you're always texting, good morning, or sending her the same, how was your day? Well, you're becoming predictable. And predictability doesn't get you noticed, it gets you forgotten. And of course, taken for granted as well, right? So how do you keep her on her toes, constantly thinking about you? It's simple, surprise her when she least expects it. Not with a grand gesture or over the top display, but the little moments that show you're paying attention. It's about catching her off guard in a way that makes her think, wow, I didn't see that coming, but it's so him. Right? Let me give you an example. Imagine this. She told you about a rough week at work, right? Instead of sending the same old, oh, I hope it gets better message, you drop by a place with a favorite meal or send her a voice note saying, hey, I know it's tough right now, but I'm here if you need a laugh. And just like that, you've just disrupted her day in the best way possible. You've shown her that you're thoughtful, you're unpredictable as well, and this is happening all at once. Now, let me be clear, okay? You don't want to be unpredictable in a way that's unsettling or inconsistent. This isn't about being flaky or unreliable. It's about creating an excitement in a relationship that makes her wonder, what's he gonna do next? And when you can get her thinking about what you might do next, you've already won. You're taking up mental real estate in her mind. Be intentional with your surprises. A random voice note during the day, an unexpected thoughtful message, or planning a spontaneous low-key date based on something you know she loves. These are the kinds of surprises that make her feel special and keep you in her thoughts. But don't overdo it. If you're constantly surprising her, you become predictable, okay? So you want to strike that balance. And keep in mind that it's the thought behind the surprise that counts and not necessarily the price tag. Number five, you want to be a little mysterious. Don't reveal everything. Now, one of the biggest mistakes men make when they like a woman is basically just laying all their cards on the table too soon. They spill everything everything about themselves, what they do, what they like, what they want, thinking that full transparency is actually the way to win her over. But the mystery is what actually keeps people intrigued, right? Mystery. So if you want her to constantly think about you, you've got to leave some things unsaid. 
right? Here's the thing, when she knows everything about you right away, there's no room for that curiosity. I, I talk about a lot in my videos. And let me tell you, curiosity is powerful. Curiosity keeps her thinking. What's going on in his head? What's he doing when he's not with me? What's his story? You know, and that curiosity is exactly what you want. It keeps you on her mind even when you're not around. You don't have to be shady or secretive, but you also don't need to give her the full rundown of your life story on day one. Keep the conversation interesting, but leave certain parts of your life a little vague. Let her ask the questions, and when she does, don't be afraid to playfully dodge them every now and again. It's about creating a dynamic where she feels like there's always more to learn about you, right? You're not being evasive, you're just being a little elusive in a way that builds her curiosity. When she's curious, she'll want to dig deeper. And when she wants to dig deeper, guess what? She's thinking about you. You're occupying space in her mind. And that's where you want to be. If she feels like she has access to you 24 seven, the mystery will start to fade. So you want to mix it up. Don't respond to every text instantly. Don't always be the one to initiate plans. Let her wonder what you're up to. The more she wanders, the more she thinks about you. So there you have it. Want her to constantly think about you? Follow these steps I just shared in this video and trust me, she'll be obsessed. But remember, this only works if you're genuinely interested in her and if she's genuinely interested in you. Manipulation is not the game here. It's about creating real connections and making yourself someone she can't forget. If you want to learn more, subscribe to this channel and uh, smash that like button so I know that you enjoy this kind of content and share it with another brother who needs to hear this. My name is Jessica. I'll catch you in the next video.